Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of SimCity where last episode we built this brand new industrial town which has actually gone very very well very very quickly uh, to the point where we have one, two, three, four, five coal mines set up. Now not all of them are currently working because I need a few little bits and bobs and whatnot. Uh, we managed to get the Metals HQ down and we managed to upgrade it to the point where this episode we are ready to build the smelting stuff. Uh, which will make us even more cash money moolah, which I'm so freaking excited about. So as always, guys, if you do enjoy this and want to see more SimCity, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new in here, then make sure you do subscribe so you're notified when that next episode does come out. There's lots of stuff I want to do. I also want to get in the work set up our secondary residential town, which will bring all the workers and the shoppers between this city and Falls Vegas. Now, actually, guys, they gave me some name suggestions for this town in the last episode, and it was pretty much unanimous. Uh, Falls Mines, because this is a mining town that we're now freaking building, which is going to be beautiful. And there's a ton of stuff I, we need to kind of get up and running. So, building fire, building fire, of course, building fire. We have to kind of upgrade our fire station and stuff like that. But before we do... Let's jump straight into it and add it in our smelting division. Now, this can pretty much be squeezed in anywhere. So I'm thinking, do I just drop it in a place like this? Yeah, because I'm not going to get too many big factories in that little small little area. So this will um, you know, be wonderful. Drop a little sign there too. So with that in, now in, I can go and build the smelting factory. Which is 54,000. I don't know if I can have more than one. I'm not too sure. But I'm going to squeeze this in right here. And I can edit it. I can upgrade it. I can do stuff to it. But apparently we're now buying loads of power and stuff. What happens with the power over here? Oh yeah, it was the it was weak. It was pretty weak right now. We got the water pumping station. Um, do we need more, more city stuff? Because it still feels like stuff's not happening. This is pumping clean water to the city, but it's, it's not enough still, apparently. It is not enough, so I'm going to have to build a secondary one. Oh, actually, no, not build a secondary one, sorry. I can add on to it. So it's in an area that's now been sucked dry. Filtration pump that goes there. Is that going to be enough gallons thrown on top? Hmm. That's fine. That was a filtration... Uh, everyone needs water, but the ground is polluted. But that was enough anyway. I don't know why I chose that one over this one. But I suppose it cleans the water. Uh, even though the water's clean anyway. So that was sort of the water out. In terms of sewage, we've got the capacity, but it's overloading a current pump. So again, while we've got the money coming in, let me just quickly edit this and add in another one. So then we've got two pumps there that will kind of sort it all out. And that will then reduce some of the stuff. We have a little goal over here that we need to take care of. So I'll do it. So we need to import raw ore. So this then, it needs ore, it needs coal, and in return it makes metal. Now we don't have anything that is set up for metal exporting just yet. And we're going to have to now... Now, we originally sent this little housing development up here so we get some workers in uh, our Falls Mines town. But we're going to have to, you know, at some point, look towards getting rid of it and getting in all of our ore setup. Now, our ore map is here. Nice big pockets of it that we can play around with. Actually, we can keep some of this residential in and I can actually just build it straight off there, which is okay. But we are going to also need to look at getting more residents working over here and that's where my secondary residential city is going to come into play now 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 we are losing quite a lot of money but we have to kind of focus on and look towards what we're actually doing and what we're trying to do right now is export as much of this coal so is everyone st are these still working yeah all of them are working right now which means we're going to have regular exports going out of here which will be pretty good. And so that's what's going to keep our city kind of alive. So I've got the goods going in. But people are sick right now. What else can I throw onto this to edit it? I can add in delivery trucks. We can add in a metal furnace. Uh, which burns raw ore. I can add in the alloy. 
which uh, burns... Uh, this is the one that burns coal, right? Yeah. And that's what we need to focus on more than anything. So, by default, we have set in the metal furnace, which is this for the ore. So I could delete it, or I could keep it there. We're going to keep it there because it doesn't cost us too much money. And we're going to throw in now what's set up to create the alloys for us. Which that will then uh, produce... Uh, that will use the coal to produce the alloys, which we can then go ahead and export. Now I'm going to have to build a new trade thingy, my jig. <laughs> which will throw a new one in. And do I just integrate it here? Hmm, it's gonna be a tight squeeze, isn't it? But I don't really have much hope, to be honest with you. So if I just squeeze that in there, and I can I can add in at least two anyway if I delete this one. And here we, we need to drop in the alloy storage, so just wait for a moment. Boom. Alloy storage can go there. And get another one in. So I can get at least three in, and that's fine. Because we only got one smelting building at the minute. I ain't gonna be used. Woo! We have 42,000 on the export? Okay. I'll take that. That's a lot of cash! Holy moly! <laughs> right, okay, okay, okay. So if, if they can export it, go with it. Go with it. I'll get another truck on the scene. And we'll drop the sign out front. Boom, there we go. Right, so we are losing a lot of money, but this is where we have to heavily rely on our industry. Now, when I see 42,000 go out, we know we're making the big bucks. Uh, no raw production, no ore production stops. So let's turn off the deliveries because I don't really want to make it. Do we? To be honest with you. Should we then just, should we just actually edit this to get rid of that building for now? Because we don't really want to work with it, really, do we? But look, do, or, or do I still just have to have the all coming in? Do I still just have to have it? That just turns off local deliveries, doesn't it? Maybe I do just have to have it, then. Like, I can't just function one without the other. Hmm. That's interesting. So, with that said, then, it's not, it's not a big issue. So, we need the... Not coal mine, the ore mine... Which, apparently I can't place it here. That's weird. So I'll drop it here then, where it's allowing me to place it. And we'll edit this real quick. And see what we can get thrown on this then. So, go up to there, so I can then, it costs 16,000, push in this direction. Okay, not enough simillions at this point. But that's Okay. So we'll wait for workers to go there, and at least we have something. Something's better than nothing at this point, isn't it? It really is. And I think what we'll do is... Because now some of the coal is going to go to our smelting area, I don't need as many coal stuff set up on here. So I'll sacrifice two and replace them with ore. So raw ore. Over there, because apparently I can't squeeze it in there. So we've sacrificed two there. Does that mean I can then edit this to throw something else onto it? No. I got kind of excited then. It's okay though, it's okay. See how that goes. Have we exported anything just yet? No. And now we're just waiting for that ore to come in. But to wait for that ore to come in, this has to produce ore. So again, we'll just give it some time. That's literally what we'll do at this point, is give it some time. So we have the smelting factory underway, and we're now working towards producing even more stuff. So, the city as a whole, is it, what's the issues here? Too much sewage, the pipes are overflowing, they can't handle it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, what I'll do now, then while we're waiting, we'll just generally upgrade the roads where I need them to be upgraded. Because we've got a lot of traffic coming in here and there. So I'm going to have to fully upgrade all these roads. This might spark some upgrades on the whole... What do you call it? 
factories. Because they have a... Better road, if that made sense. <laughs> it made sense in my head. So, it also eased some of the traffic, hopefully, as well. Because it's now going from, like, single lanes to, like, double lanes. All right, I'm just quickly just feathering round right now. Upgrade the density of that road. So, just keep this rocking and rolling real quick. And I think we'll do these these ones just here. And then we'll stop it there for now. Actually, we'll do it going up to the train station. Which, the train station is still not working. I've played around with the, road, the train tracks and whatnot. It's all connected there. It's just weird. It is just really weird. So, a few upgraded roads there, which is now going to hopefully spark some upgrades from the factory buildings. We Have we exported that 42,000 yet? No, not yet. We are producing the alloy. We just got to get it exported, which is actually quite exciting. It is quite exciting right now. Um, right. So medical care could be added to the Falls Mines area. It's probably something that would go over here, wouldn't it, if I dropped in like a little clinic. So if I dropped it just there for now, that make those guys slightly happy. And do I have no policing at all? No. So we'll go for a small police station, which I'll drop here in the corner. Just so we've got some of it in. And then see how that rock and rolls. So yeah, we should now really start to make some serious cash. Like some serious cash. we got to wait for this number 7 out of 20 to get to 10. So it would probably be beneficial now to add in another alloy furnace. So we then have... We, we literally double our production at that point. Because we've got the goods in. We just need to start producing more. And then we get 42,000 on every export. That's kind of crazy. Um, I'll do it. I'm not sure what it was. Oh, bam. That's already done straight away. Isn't there like something to do with trading? Oh, I can build a trade HQ. Which can expand my trading options. Now, how much is that to run? Okay, this is... Ooh, this is going to be a nice little tight squeeze wherever we drop this. Right. I won't pull it up there. I'll pull it... Oh, I can't pull it on that side of the water, can I? Right, we'll pull it here. Not how much is it? It's not that expensive, but... You know how it is. Right, have we sold any alloys yet? Oh, 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 no. They're in. They're in here. I, I set it to export, right? Yeah. Oh, I didn't set the ore to export. Oh, hang on. Wrong button. Um, export. Ore here. Export as well. So I'm just going to wait for that alloy to export. And I got 42,000 in the bank. Additional. Additional, mate. Let's not forget that. So I'm waiting for that to then disappear. Are they going to export it? Do I add some more trucks to this? To kind of boost things a little bit. Can can we can we get this rocking and rolling please guys? <laughs> I want to uh work as needed. Yeah, of course. Come on, guys. Let's get the al alloy exported right now. But then I can drop my trade HQ down now, can't I? Yeah. So let's get that into place. So I can then build a trade port, which also extends my capabilities of exporting other goods in other areas. Oh, did I just, did I just get the money? 42,000 for alloy. There we go. There we go, boys. So, I have a trade port, or the ability to now build that. 58,000. So, cannot plop it on water, apparently. So, how do I do it, then? And what's a trade port? 
Uh, allows... Can I actually go there? All right, let me look at this for a quick hot minute. So, allows importing, exporting, and storage of commodity resources or freight larger storage uh, lots allow for 10 times the capacity of the trade depot. Rail and cargo ship connections must allow import and export over rail and water. Requires uh, power. And Oh, this is actually going to be a really good little thing. I should get it over here, shouldn't I? Right, hold on, because my city is still dying in many ways. So we don't really have much of the power. Um, we have the... Oh, okay, we, we're pretty much evens on the water. Sewage. Even though we got the excess of it. Still not happy, is it? No. But the city's still functional. That's the main thing at the minute. The city's kind of still functional. Right, can I get this road... There is a moment where it works. There. It's really weird. Oh, I'm trying to get back in place. There we go. It's really weird how it just dips down like that. It's so annoying. But if I take it to there... Oh, where's my ore map? Okay, that might just kind of cut through. So if I bring it... If I bring it to there, then at least that is going past the ore. In a way. And... Where was it again? There. So if I then come up... Because what I'm trying to do right now is I want to place that trade finger. But I'm not 100% how it works. I really am not. Oh, we can upgrade that. Let me upgrade this first. So it means I can now drop in petroleum division. Trade port, crude oil, plastics. Coal. That's the one I want is the metals division for this this area anyway. Right, let me get back out there. So yeah, I'm not sure how this trade thing works, like how it gets set up, how it's able to connect in different areas. So this is gonna be just a this is gonna be a complete test right now. So cargo ship dock. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, K K K K K. Freight train. How does that work? Uh, allows input resources. Is it like a case of of what it goes on a train track? Uh, as of a train every few hours. Right. First things first. Okay, I'm not approved to do anything else. Instead of commercial division to metals HQ is active in the region, but. Cargo ship dock is what I can set up next. So if I place that here, how much did that cost me? 100,000. Hot damn. That was a lot. That's now placed in. Again, we've got to wait for it to hire people. But I'm interested to how we kind of get the train side of it to work. Is it literally just, it just gets plopped on top of a train track? Hold on. Let me get out of this mode. Because we do have a train track nearby. I'm just, I'm just trying to like glance and look at the building kind of. Right, let me edit this again. So first things first, let me just kind of do it like here. Ah, there we go. And how much is that? 70,000. Okay, I got it. I figured it out. So the train's going to have to go up to here and kind of connect up to there. Oh, snap, it works. This is going to be so freaking glorious. It really, really is. 
okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. How are we doing on this front anyway with smelting the alloys? Have we expe exported more recently? Raw ore. Haven't done alloys in a while. Needs power, the building does. Right, so we, we've definitely got to get something set up where we have more power in the area. I could do the solar plants. Or I could go to hell with it and go, you know what, oil plant. I could do a coal plant with the amount of coal that we're producing. Right, let's delete this. And coal plant. Right, wait for that stuff to disappear. There we go. Which is... I'm not sure it's enough or not, but we're going to edit it to add in an advanced generator. What's the difference between an advanced generator? Air pollution medium. That's high. That burns more. Well, I'll go for a medium one. She's going to be excess in power right now. But it is closed. We are trying to get people working there. Is people working over here now? Yeah. So what's this little mission he wants me to do? I want me to build the freight train. Okay, we'll get onto that in just a moment. We are pretty much borderline getting it all set up. And let's... Okay, I've got to view that all map again. Um, right. Okay, let's get some residential buildings down to there. That still needs hiring. Right, how many abandoned factories do we have in this area now? So, 14 rubble. It's stiff like this is the rubble, isn't it? Yeah. Three abandoned buildings, apparently. Oh, snap. No, this is a rubble. This is it down here, the residential. I didn't realize all these guys were like this. Oh, well, that'll bring more people in. Slowly but surely. Have we just exported more? No, we only done one export of alloy. And I'm still waiting for this coal plant to get hired. Oh, come on, guys. Today, please. Can somebody work there? Uh, right, in the meantime, then, let's upgrade the road. Because then it might cause upgrades to the buildings. Which could potentially mean more residents. We can only hope. Right, I'm just going to go to there with the residential zoning. Get some more peeps in. Are we are we up and running right now? Yes, we're now finally powering the city. Which means that this is currently closed and needs power. But the power should be coming in very, very slowly right now. So you just gotta wait for it to fill up. You can kind of just see about its circle. Very, very small. And that'll start producing again. And then we can look at getting that train station set up over here. Man, this is a pain, isn't it? It really is a pain. Needs needs water. Are we low on water? I know we're low on water. Yeah, we are low on water. So, I'm thinking... Let me check the ore. There's no ore there. So, if I brought this road... And then just do a connection like that. Right? Again, bear with me. And then the water side of it. Where's the ore? Ore's there, so I can squeeze in the water pump here. 
Because the ore's there, isn't it? Right, I won't delete that one just yet until I'm ready to expand this one a bit more. But it has the water. Which will stop the other buildings from crying so much. But then I'm going to have to upgrade and edit this as well. Again. So I get another one of these big generators. Another big generator. Let's get the sign out front there. Producing way more than I freaking need right now. So much freaking excess. So get that power where we need to, for, it, for it to go. Which is going to kickstart my smelting factory again very soon. So, come on boys. Let's get it set up. Let's get it set up right now. You're the beating heart of the... Of the community. Right, it's producing alloy. Nice. So there is there is currently alloy ready to be exported. So that's good then. We, oh, it just got exported, I think. Yeah, 42,000. There we go. We're back on it, mate. We're back on it right now. Right, okay, 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 okay. Let's now manage deliveries. So I've got to add storage to it before we do anything on the export side of things. Um, I can add generic warehouse shipping which is all good but let me just get the train station there set up so again to get all this added in to give us more export in options we need to get the commercial division to the metals hq in the region okay but let me just get a few more of these vehicles down get the sign on the building good stuff and we'll leave it as that so, the commercial division. We need to basically upgrade it, don't we? So we need more profits on the on the daily, for on the daily metals. So we're going to increase that. So now we've got power. We're back up and running. I can keep adding more onto this factory. So alloy furnace there. I can now actually do a metal furnace, can't we? So if I do. Because the metal furnace, now we've got the ore. So if I drop a metal furnace just there. And where's that going to? There we go, a couple of metal furnaces there. So we've now literally, let me get the vehicles down. Maxed out that smelting. Which I'm probably now going to go into debt. If I don't export something pretty soon. Yep, yeah, so I need to... Increase taxes. Just until I export something. <laughs> oh, what have I done? They're going to hate me for this. They're all going to go out of business, boys. Right, bring this back down. Put it all back at 10. So, just got to export something else. There we go. And that should keep us now going. It should keep us afloat slightly. Should keep us afloat. Um, right. Again, not really getting the full benefit from, fit from this until we got that commercial division. But to do that, we need to export 700,000 in daily profits from the metals. Okay. So, with that said then... Every trade depot here that contains the factory. We now delete. And replace it with some ore. Some metal. Because that's something new that we're doing. We'll drop two metals on that one. Okay. Uh, that one. Make sure we get it all set up as well. Manage deliveries. So export. You get 40, 31 for that. Nice. So make sure that is all set up. Yep. This here. Is this one all set up for exports? Yep. That's got four there. Manage. So I can actually edit this one. 
delete that and replace it with let's just go on the ore side of it that's fine can't really do much to that one then so at least we can export a little bit of everything right now so producing both metal and alloy so I'm always low on the ore so I need to upgrade or add more ore mining and then we're rocking and rolling so how has the power gone down again that's crazy and now we're in X again I think that was a little bit low wasn't it yeah uh, okay right let's edit this so I can get f two more on so we're good to there and how much are these vehicles each Does the sign not go out front? Oh, it goes up there. Nice. There we go. So more mining for that. I can't believe how much stuff we're getting done right now. So all the abandoned buildings are gotta go. Why, why did they go? I, di I didn't really pay attention to why they went. These are going because there's couldn't find shops or parks. Now that's because we don't have any commercial. But at the same time, they should be able to go to Falls Vegas. But then again, it's because that freaking train line's not working. I wonder if I can do anything here to, like... Right, so... I don't get what is going on with this train line. I really don't. I really don't. But I can add in boats anyway. So maybe add a nice little ferry dock in. Uh, where should I drop it in? Should I, should I place it over on this side? No, so I want the room for expansions over there. So unless I just kind of like drop it here. And then just get ourselves connected over. Now on this, I can add in a cruise ship dock as well. I'm not sure what benefit it's going to bring to Fool's Mines. Not sure indeed. But now we've got garbage issues, apparently. So we'll add a little incinerator there to start chomping down on the excess garbage. Okay, so close for hiring there. Got to get some more some parks in there because, like they're saying there, they're, they're not currently happy. So I get a plaza in or two. So let's get it around the mine. So that's where it's bringing the negativity vibe. Well, the negativity vibes. The negative vibes. Uh, formal. Should we get in? What can we squeeze in on the formal side? All right. Can I add on to that park? Like something slim and slender there. Bam. Two of those bad boys. Brings a little bit of something to the region, to the area. Very, uh, very minor. But it will cause a few upgrades and for people to be a little bit happier in this area. Now, we're going to drop in population so we might lose some jobs and whatnot. But it's all for the greater good. It's all for the greater good right now. <laughs> I'm hoping this is going to be beneficial. Now, do I bring in public transport? I'm still not too sure just yet. Um, we got some big exports ready to go out soon. So we exported some metal. We did two sets of alloys as well. So we're working our way up the metal line. Try and get those profits. Is this open for business right now? So this is now working. So I don't know if we'll bring anything in, but then you gotta I'm gonna start thinking next then. Gotta be looking at an airport, right? As another way to kind of connect and bring people in. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. But let's jump to um Falls Vegas though, anyway. Let's load up this bad boy. 
so they know what's going down in fool's minds and let's see how these guys are doing for a little bit so it is night time fast forward so neighboring mayor visits we got some destruction going on because there's too much crime so we've got to take a look at um what you call it getting some more policing down now on the policing side of things we have just that police station there we've got to be looking at trying to get the police precinct down that is what's needed in this city right now but the thing is it's quite difficult to try and get the monies to come in it really is it right now our industry towns are the ones that are making ridiculous funds ridiculous funds but if I can control the crime we're good now loans let's pay back that loan and get another one <laughs> pay back that loan and then get another one and then pay back this loan and then get another one which then would give me enough to get the police precinct which in the long run that's going to help me really going to help me out so let's squeeze this right there which is now close for hiring which come with its own additional benefits we should hopefully keep the city pretty happy still close for hiring hopefully that's okay we're still making profit so many people running around doing their shopping and all that kind of jazz. The bus missed us again. No, that's not good. That's definitely not good. But we also need to get more streetcars in as well, don't we? Because that is the average wait time right now. It's 3,000 for a streetcar, so I'm surprised I haven't got any in any sooner. So I'm going to buy all of them right now. Fast forward that and then watch a little streetcars pop out. There we go, now it's starting to pop out, which was hopefully starts to decrease the wait times. And they're complaining about not enough freight shipments. There we go, and now the police station is fully open, ready to rock and roll. So we've got a few more abandoned buildings, no shoppers, apparently. No shoppers, I mean, they couldn't have any... any any more shoppers if I gave it to them on a plate but this is now open we've come here so we fully know what's going down so hopefully we now load back up then fools minds they now know that place exists in a way and we'll jump on the train and or on the boat and skedaddle out of here I can only hope guys I can only freaking hope at this point so let's see how it's going on so we're still trying to gain that money that sweet cash money moolah and look at that. Now, finally, the trains are working. So now they can finally go and do their shopping. Which, now they're complaining to me that there's not enough seats on the train. <laughs> you can never win. You're never going to win. But we also just start seeing boats as well, right? That's if... That is kind of the same boat route as everywhere else. Yeah, that's 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 an issue for another headache. But yeah, um, I'm glad that the trains are now working. It's, it's like sometimes stuff don't work. You got to go visit the other city to come back to this city, which actually then begs the question: go to Fool's Town, and then get these guys to know that Fool's Mines exist. So then they'll start bringing all their workers or you know, over there to work. And again, I won't have then a shortage of workers, right? Man, this becomes a huge pain. So fast forward then, so this gets all linked up then with Fool's Mines. And then we're still waiting for that pollution to slowly disappear before we add in more residential. I suppose I can add in a little bit here, there and everywhere. Why not? Why? 
freaking nut at this point. Oh, there's a little bit of commercial there. Squeeze me. You're not meant to be here. And demolish them. Oh, demolish them free buildings. Didn't mean to demolish you. Apologies. Apologies right now. <laughs> there we go. So, a few more residents. And all the stuff at the top of the screen there is just popping up that we all know, like, you know, connected up to Fool's Mines. So, with that done then, let's now head back to Fool's Mines. And now we should hopefully be getting Fool's Town's workers coming in. So, again... Fast forward then. A couple of trains there popping up. A load of people just walked out. So hopefully we're good to start rocking and rolling then. That's working. We're making 361,000 in daily profits from the metals. We need more smelting factories, don't we? That's what we're going to need. So do I just utilize this top plateau bit here? Sewage is still taking a hit, so let's, uh, yeah, let's sort this out. Okay, I can't add anything any more to it. So why don't we add in something over here to suck more sewage? We've got to wait for someone to work over there. Because that had, an, an, again, another negative effect on us. Not enough workers, apparently. They should all be coming in very, very soon. So, if I was to get... Hang on, I'm still 100... Yeah, 61. So, if I was to get more of this smelting stuff down, 54,000 a pop it's going to cost me. Now, if I was to try and implement it on this section here... So, if I tried to very gracefully... If I went down to there and then across... Am I able... To squeeze a few in I should be able to if I did one there okay it's not gonna work like that if I do it like this so there's two more up here so it's closed now hiring but if we add on to it then so we We've got two mill furnaces and then two um, alloy furnaces. We get the vehicles down. Again, I've got to be careful on the money side again because we're going to be losing it. There we go. We just got that export come out. So that one there is kind of fully maxed up there. But it does mean I need to start producing more um, ore. Which means I need to set up a secondary one of these. But that's okay. Again, we're still close for hiring. More factories are dying on us. Because there's not enough workers. So we might just... Kind of have to bite the bullet. And just zone for more workers. Even though they're going to hate living around these parts. There we go. We do that there so we can just... A little bit more maximization. Um, okay, so... That's now rocking and rolling. So to start producing for us. That's doing well, but again, look. No... No ore. And that's what I need more of. Is that working right now? No, still close for hiring. All oh, these are now dead. So do you know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to squeeze in some tiny bit of commercial just to kind of really keep these guys happy. Because they're not liking the fact that there's literally diddly squat. So, okay, let's just put it on this strip here. So 
So just for the sake of having it in, I'm going to put it in the train station as well, just so, you know, because tourists or shoppers can come off that. And at least I've got something to keep them happy, right? They've got something at the minute. So now I need more ore. And to set another one of those up, an ore mine. Why can't I place it on this road? Like here. It's weird to think that I can't do it there. Let me get rid of the zone in here. What's going on, boy? There we go. Let me d delete these houses. And, uh... It's just weird how I can't do it there. So let me check the your map again. And why if I just create a road there real quick? Aha! There we go. So drop this here. This ore mine. Alright, drop you there. You there. There. Three, four, seven. There we go. Get more out of that one just there. All the vehicles down. Nice little sign on top. Right, sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Let's get out of this. That's a secondary one down right now. So we doubled our ore production. Watch your how part the factories. Hopefully. Close now hiring. We definitely need that secondary city, don't we? Yeah, and I wanted to kind of look towards getting it set up today, but it looks like it's going to have to be next episode, but we, we kind of getting somewhere. We kind of are, and I think this is going to be the city that builds that great works that we've been needing for so long. This might be the city that does it, uh, but as always, sewage is an issue. Let me edit this, so... Add some more sewage capacity onto this. This seems to be a really big issue in this city, doesn't it? The sewage. It really does. And we should be able then to squeeze another one in, but a bit further up. I can squeeze one in there as well. So how much did it cost me again? 22,000. So if I just drop one there for the sake of it. And then bring this road connecting up to there. And literally just drop in another one for the sake of it. Until I get... I'm going to put it here so I've got a little bit more leeway. We're moving stuff down. That's four ore mines, which I gotta, you know, add some more expansions on. But we're good to go. We are good to go in getting more. In getting more freaking money. Yeah, I don't know, I think that ferry line's on the same route. I really don't. But this burned down because there's not enough. Well. Ending because not enough workers. These are because shops and parks. So let's get another, let's get a, a sports one set up. There we go. I'm hoping they love that. Nice little skate park next. We'll go with that. And uh, that will cause some more upgrades too. So this is not the perfect city by any means. It's just enough to kind of keep us 
the momentum rocking and rolling. And has this number now gone up? Yes, it has. We're now at 471,000. But as we start producing more ore, and these then start producing more, it will just keep, 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 just going up and up and up. So I need more residents moving in. So I'm just going to have to kind of bite the bullet on this as well. And squeeze more in around here and there. It's just what I have to do to kind of bring more residents in to have more workers, I'm afraid. But that's okay. We can kind of get to it. Money's still going up and up and up. So this is good. Are we still got sewage issues? Sewage capacity reached there. And that one's closed. See, that's why we got the issues, man. We need more more residents. So I've got like, I've got 1,800 people living in uh, Fool's Mines right now. Which is still kind of crazy to think. It really is. Okay, we're about to cross over 500,000 in sales. We are definitely working our way up the ladder right now. 100%. So keep it rocking and rolling. Now, 2,400. So that's definitely got to have workers. No, it's still hiring. Oh, no, I think the work. Yeah, the workers have just got there. So we can add on more to these now. So bam. 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 And then add in the remainder of the vehicles to export the goods. That's all done. And then edit this one. So bam. 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 And bam. And then all the vehicles. And the little sign. And that's four fully maxed out ore mines. Ready to go. So we can produce even more on top of what we're now producing. Which would then... Hopefully up my metal production. Then this smelting factory, which doesn't really have much going on for it at the moment, has two metal furnaces. And then we set up then two alloy. Uh, are they alloy furnaces? Yeah. And then get the vehicles in. And then the sign. Good stuff. And then that will reduce now even freaking more so we should start to see that rocking and rolling so much higher so it's got the goods now it's starting to produce we have three smelting factories underway so this is now becoming the backbone of our folio region and then uh, are they requesting what buses okay we'll, we'll get the buses in so, should we go for the bus terminal? Because that... I mean, that's one way we can bring more buses in in general. Get more workers and stuff into the area. So, let me uh, add to this road. It's a bit of a funky road. But just go with it, okay? Just go with it for now. Bus terminal... I'll get in there. Ah, <sighs> done. So that will bring people to the area. Like I said, in general. I'll get a load of bus stops down right now. Alright, dot a load around. And then just the generic shuttle buses we're needing next, right? You know, just throw in there. Just so they've got some form of public transport going around right now. That would be pretty handy. 
So they're going to play in that the depot is currently closed. It needs to be... Well, that one's closed. Oh, they're now both working. That's good. They got 630,000 now in daily profits. We're 70,000 away from upgrading uh, our Metals HQ. All right, got enough people taking the bus a day. So we've we've transformed this. I mean, we almost went bankrupt a few times, but we're now properly transforming this little town. So not enough workers, not enough workers. So hopefully this brings a lot of workers. Even though it says workers needed. <laughs> Let's try and cre like add some additionals. Get some more residents moving in. And in terms of parks as well, should we go, we're going a little bit formal. Because we're trying to spice things up slightly. To try and cause some upgrades, which that will cause probably now a load of upgrades. So the population will probably dip again. But that's now bringing people in. I just think a load of people get off the bus. So let's add, how much is it per bus? 15,000. Oh my god, we got 400,000 in the bank. Alright, there we go. A load of buses now drop down so we can have more regular buses come in. And this right now, if I edit the generic buses so we can have more riders. Can I hold shift on this? Or is it control? All right, drop all that in. Last one. There we go. We spent a lot of money there. So more buses, more travelers, hopefully. And the upgrade is now available. Boom! That building's getting bigger and bigger. So I need, then, the com uh, the commerce division, which uh, grants access for the trade, the coal, and the ore stuff over here. Now, for this building, where can I drop this in? Um, right, I'm going to squeeze it. I'll squeeze it just there. And that's fine. And it's 2 million daily profits we need after that. Which means this, then, I can then edit to add in coal storage, the alloy, the metal, and all that kind of jazz, which I'm going to do a little bit of everything right now. So there's one coal. We'll do one ore. We'll do one metal, and we'll do one alloy. I can hear my cat meowing. She's not happy with me, with the, the stuff that like, your boy's trying to do right now. She don't support me building a beautiful city. <laughs> but there we go. More stuff can get added into it. My cat is literally moaning at me going, yo, send me out. Let me out of this office. You want to meow, cat? She wants to meow at me. <laughs> right, don't worry, cat. We're almost doing this right now. So this will now fill up with storage, which we should then start to see the exports happen. I'm not sure in what tonnage it kind of needs to export. But there comes our little train that comes in. I'm more interested to find out when a boat comes in. That'd be quite exciting, but... Uh, export, 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 export. There we go. Is that the boat for this? No. But oh my goodness me, there's a lot. More, there's a. Where are all these boats all of a sudden coming from? Are they going to here? Oh, get yeah, the ferry terminal is now up and running. That's cool. Never realised that. Well, that's never happened before, has it? That legit ain't happened before. Does it only come over so often? Hmm. Hmm. But with that now set up, we can export more, which has now put our daily profits up to 981,000. So we are definitely making some serious, and I mean serious, cash from this city. We really are. We really freaking are. It's just money after money after money after money right now. 
which that then bodes really well for us because then we could build that great work. So maybe it's something that we kind of look towards doing. I don't know, next episode. I mean, I gotta build that residential town. That's a priority at the moment. That's a serious priority. But guys, we're gonna end over here. Hope you did enjoy this. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye. <laughs>